you want to fly I'll go hide if you want to hide And shout if you want to shout But don't let them hold you down Don't fade into the crowd Cause they don't make the rules I'll crank it up a bit then <laughs> chatting with this gentleman who had been there all day you know and he was uh he was in deep and he was going off telling me just you know talking at me not with me or he was just talking at me <laughs> telling me about all these things he'd done in his life and um and he was that guy you all know him he's probably here tonight <laughs> he owns the place of course <laughs> he did all those paintings <laughs> and um He's that guy that anything you've done in your life, he's done it before you, he's done it better than you, he's done it faster than you, he's that guy. And so I was writing down everything he told me, and I just thought I'm gonna just write a song and I'm gonna sing everything that he's telling me. And um, I kept buying him beer, I was like, you know, come on, we got two more verses to go. <laughs> and uh, I also was waiting for something really good that I wanted to bookend the song with, and he delivered. He told me, um, you know, um, you know, along with being a jet fighter pilot and a filmmaker and uh, anything you can think of, he uh, also personally sang "Joy to the World" to the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it started. <laughs> this is this is everything he told me. In a, in a sense, I guess he wrote this song. Of course he did. He wrote all the songs. <laughs> I exaggerate a lot in it. He would have wanted that. <laughs> it's a quiet one. And we'll get going again. You guys ready? <laughs> and while I used to drive a race car, but I won every single time. I once met the great Elvis Presley way back. 
in his prime. And the pilot had a heart attack. Yeah, so I had to land the plane. And I want to save this little kid from drowning. I invented cellophane. I used to be a millionaire. I dropped thousands of bucks a day. This is one of the songs, and this is like the campfire version, the Cabin 712 demo version. It's called Kalemnikov. We roll back and forth, dodging icebergs, changing course, along the broken fjord, everything screwed to the floor. It's the end of the line, there's nothing left, and in the sled dog's frozen breath, the sun burns the moon away, the constellations hide their face. Back to Kalebnikov for hot soup and vodka shots. I sing songs. All right, I, I sing them to myself at the hotel in the phone. And I told Chris about it. I said, I wrote this song about Samantha. You guys probably know each other. And, um, and he, he was like, cool, let me hear it. So I sent it to his phone. And it's, it's, I'm like, hey, it's a terrible recording. It's really bad. It's embarrassing, but you'll get the idea. And he's like, great, let's send it to her. And I was like, no, no, no. And he goes, <laughs> and like, dude. And he sent it to space. And she was on the station. And so I woke up in the morning. And I got an email from Samantha Christopher Eddy at nasa.government.outerspace.org. And, um, and she said she liked the song. And, I was, I put it in a frame. <laughs> I don't get a lot of email from space, maybe you do. It was my first email from space. And um, I wrote her back, and then she wrote me back, and then I was sitting in my kitchen going, I think I have a Okay, that's